Welcome back. Even if the lane goes 50-50, in your dream should be very happy. He does have a pretty damn good scaling hero. And there is a south coming forward. Lawson. I'm gonna see if he wins this fight. Does not have the brain set to play around with the Elise will get the sleep. And Ashes isn't able to uh, stop that uh, sleep for going along. Plays better at playing with it and all that kind of stuff. They're going for it. Yes, he's got a lot of that damage reduction, but now the shield crash does uh, go away, so they will at least get the, the kill hero and Apollos and... Yeah, Ashes has been getting completely slowed down. He wants Helmet Dom, but it's going to be very delayed. And not only that, his level, but in your dreams, got four. Do they have enough to kill him? He does have the Blink Strike as well as the Blur here, so Hong Kong would have liked to have gotten the kill deck. Does feel good for Galaxy Racer because as soon as they've taken these two Q1 towers. That's a sleep. That's an arrow. They have enough to kill this Pangolier with level 5. He doesn't have the Rolling Thunder. And is going to be what they set their sights on. And top team. They don't get anything else out of this team fight. Abat does have a Blade Mail to play around with. But there's so much magic damage that comes through Mizu. He's punching everybody oh no. here. He's got the, uh, the Flesh Golem on top. And just does so much damage. The Raw comes in. The Puck's the next one they're looking for. They lose Hong Kong in the process as well. And Mizu's just so large and in charge. That there's nothing the top team can do and that's a full five men that gets dropped from them the scaling game they're getting the heads up and that means they're going to get majority of the resources either be by invading or just getting more map control they're going to try something here they know that Mizu does not have flesh gold to play around with so that extra bit of hp is not going to help him out they do get the kill there onto the undying in your dream is still here as well they do have the Moonlight Shadow to play around with as well. Oh no, Yassi. He wanted to try and get the Rolling Thunder off. He wanted to try something. But uh, that's really about it. Joe Cam. Oh, he got it. He just threaded the needle there. Catch that Hung Hung. It's not really the biggest AoE damage um, that he could abuse Blade Mill. I guess the armor is nice. Oh, there's the foil. Yeah, do hear it get snapped as well. So they're going to keep Hung Hung... At bay four, now the Rolling Thunder comes in, doesn't have enough to stop it for now, and the storm will bite the dust first off. The egg will at least pop here for the side of top team, but they have to run away from the tombstone. This is Beastmaster is making his way over here, but Alacrity is setting his sights here onto Yassi. They do have the burn with the laser beam, so Alacrity, he has to be careful, he can't throw this illusory orb away from the blade mail, so they will get the puck kill. That's big for them, but Joking, there's so much damage there with the Moonlight, uh, with the, the Starfall. But they're able to at least take down the Phoenix, and this is a slow but sure defeat for Yassi. In the middle lane as well. He's just standing oh, still. Oh, hung, hung. Another oh, arrow. God, Jokem. Area where the enemy could only possibly pay, play, and uh, just preventing them from getting anything done. They are going to try and prevent Arbat here in the top lane from going anywhere oh, near- yeah. Oh my god, the arrow, Joe Camp, that was downtown. Connects it onto the Spectre as well, Arbat bites the dust. There's two fights going on here, but we're going to pay more attention towards the top side. Looks like Joe Camp's just going to run away from this, and now Hung Hung gets himself to kill there on a Polison in the mid lane. Looks like it was a transition to try and take down Ashes. I love the itemization again from Galaxy Race. One of the best teams at itemizing in the mid game. I see a lot of utility on this Marana. Actually, they are jumping on the bank. Yeah, it's just so hard for them to kill him. They've got the mech, Hung Hung, burn a lot of his mana. They do take down the Bane, but what else do they lose here? The laser beam from Eris is at least buying the storm enough time, but that's a double kill for the PA. Cleave comes through, and they're looking for Ashes here. They don't have the Dream Coil, but they've got enough stuns to keep him at bay. And they will take down the Beastmaster. Yassi ate an arrow, no cam. Absolute sniper. Yes. Is he clearing side lanes? I'm not too sure if I can spot a creep, but it doesn't look like he's going to make his move to the Ancients. If he gets that Lizard, which he probably will, that's amazing. The bottom lane, another pick off. And they just find absolutely everybody here. They've got Abat, and there's no way to stop the speed stretch. He's just gonna die. This is what I thought Mizu would do as well with this uh, Helm of the Overlord. I thought he'd wait for the Granite Column, just because uh, a Granite Column with a, a, a dirge is absolutely untouchable. They do use the Dream Coil directly here onto Yassi. 
So they're going to clean that one up and maybe this might be something for them to at least get a little shining hope for top team. They're looking for Paulson, but no, they don't get it. Hung Hung's going to die in your dreams facing on onto Ashes. And I wouldn't be surprised if they call it now. We've seen it time and time again, the Song Spirit trying to kill the backline supports, but he just doesn't have enough damage. And now, I mean, they found what the can they do? Aerith. Yep, he's going to go down here. They're going to see if they can burst through in your dream. He is fighting around the tombstone at least. They have to grant a column as well for that aura to keep the PR alive for a little bit longer. Yes, he's going to start to burn through Mizu here. So he is the spooky one for the side of Galaxy Racer to get through. The egg goes down in your dreams looking for it. They get a dart. He still has a dart. Nobody's died. Only two of just dropped so far here for Galaxy Racer. That is Mizu and Jokan. But in your dream, he's still the scary one. He's the one that's burning through everyone. Hung Hung's going to go down eventually. And now they've gotten through the ages of the PA and maybe Galaxy Racer have stayed a little bit too long inside of the base of top team. They still have a lot to play through with In Your Dream here. He's just going to TP out. They're going to get the zip, but they won't get it in there on time. But it just seems it's going to get harder and harder. And they've spotted out Avard again, and I think this could be an easy kill. Or is he uses it? the blade mail as well, so they're just waiting for this to run out. There's no real way for him to get out of this. And he's dead for 80 seconds. Ashes, he's going to be dead for about 100 seconds as well. I get 50. I thought he was a little bit uh, high level. Got a few spells from them as well at Galaxy Racer. And playing with their food at seems. Yes, he's on the side, has the Rolling Thunder. He's going to beat people all the way through here. They get the Haunt coming in. That is a feed trip. Goes down. A Dream Cord gets dropped as well, but so much damage. He's getting pumped into Galaxy Racer. They take down Mizu. And now they need to keep a bat away from In Your Dream. He's looking for the next one. They will be able to burn through the Spectre. They take the Pango as well. Silence comes in onto the Phantom Assassin. Means that he just can't convert these kills. But you've lost your Spectre. That's not what you want if you're top team right now. They are extremely low, so Hung Hung. Oh, the sleep comes in. Do they have it? Yes, they do. So the Storm's dead. It was a good team fight with what they had, top team, but it's just not enough. They type the beautiful letters. <laughs> send us to game number the letters? two, Darcy. The letters? The letters this time around? <laughs> still a core. It's still carry. Is yeah, it's just the Ember. Ember support. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Some, some wild conversations for us to have in the next couple of minutes, Darcy, because Dyer's we're going to be seeing some weird stuff. Um, we do see <laughs> that Arbat is in the base. Yeah, he knows that as long as they know where Eris Ooh. is, he doesn't have to be all too careful. They do miss the shield crash, though, so they turn back around and a lot of damage. And now, with Eris turning into the lane, that's when Abbott gets the kill. Yassi takes out In Your Dream on the other side of the map as well. And Galaxy Racer looked like they wanted to have a good start to it. And now, they are losing three across the map. Whether or not they use In Your Dream here to try and take the first tier one. They're at least trying to aggress onto Ashes. They hit the long race. Gonna hit the short raise as well, and Ashes might have to ravage you, but he just doesn't. He gets hit with a medium raise, and in your dream, gets himself a freebie. Hung Hung is trying to find out Alacrity in his jungle, but he doesn't get it. Yes, he's still going okay on this Tide Hunter. You think it's going to be enough for them for to, to have a little bit of mid game pressure? They are putting that mid game pressure back here onto in your dream. They're going to ravage out onto the Shadow Feed, so he will go down. Polison's not close enough for the Aphotic Shield. And now Mizu's TP'd in as well. With Abad here, got a lot of physical damage and side of his searing chains from Eris. Collect the Abaddon. And this is what happens when, you know, we, we touch on this support Ember. It can do a lot of work. Oh, they break the tree. Abad. He's the one that's going to pay from the side of top team. I hear a searing chains there on a joke him. He's got the rolling thunder. And they're going to try and take out Ashes, and they will. So that's a double kill there for Alacrity. That was a fight where I thought maybe in your dream might have been able to survive if he actually used his wand and to the Photic Shield, but as another pick off here, Uzu swap, and it's not stopping. Yeah, they're looking to take down Ashes as well, as you said. No Ravage for him. Double raise, takes him down, double kill. Abaddon does die there to Yassi, and this is the power of the keep. Get the pick off, then that's not an issue anymore. And they found Hong Hong. Can they catch him? Yeah, they need Alacrity there to get the Yules. They do get it. He does have the uh, Refraction to play around with, and now with the Rep Room of Souls coming in, they burn through yep. him. 
They had enough to take that one down in the Galaxy Racer. They just need to find the, the opportunity and they need to make sure that they're all playing around each other where they can exploit the Ravage usage. And Ash is very low. Yeah, but the Ravage comes down now. It does hit only onto three members. The Illuminates cleans that one up and they don't want to fight into this Wukong's command. So Abbott gets the T1 tower. Alacrity has run himself all the way back towards mid now. Gonna look not for good. the keeper of the light. The Yule comes in as well. Out comes the split earth, and that's gonna be the Kotal going down. An item check here on Hung Hung. He has 4,000 gold, Darcy. I don't know what he's holding 4,000 gold for, but he's doing maybe. It. Maybe he's oh, considering what? No way. They do go for a blink early on here, and in your dream, he's gonna bite the dust there to Abba. So at least they get themselves the turnaround onto that one. The Yules comes in here on QDM, the Spirit, Eris. They have got that with a side of fierce, but there's still so much damage that comes in from Galaxy Racer. I see a Swift Blink being queued up on Hung Hung, found a Desolator or BKB. I'm not sure if he's trolling us. I'm sure the other casters as well, in their respective languages, are wondering what's going on here. But I was thinking, oh wait, before I start thinking, Maybe we Looking should uh, stop thinking and just Dota right now because, <laughs> again, Yassi is getting chased down. They found out the Keeper of the Light. They take down Abbott as well as a two for one deal. And now Ashes is just being followed as well. Hood or not, doesn't matter. I'll actually burn through that. And with three going down. Yeah, well, we'll only have to find out how much work it does. Yeah, we'll see. Because right now it seems like he doesn't even want to have any bar of these team fights. Speaking of team fights, the Ravage got used. Now they have the arena being dropped down by the Monkey King, but it's a beautiful rolling thunder from Joe Cam going through so many of these members of top team, and now they can just walk through in your dream, taking down Abat. And oh, Galaxy Racer. I think they might even win this fight without even having to look at a Templar Assassin. Hung Hung, at least seeing if he can take down this Celestrak. He has picked up the Desolator Darcy, so I can tell that you might be smiling to yourself now. And they can't even get the kills with it. You got the Lord of Avernus as well to amplify attack speed, but they have to contest, and they're going in. Yeah, you can just see Ashes really want to try and get it. So they do throw out the Wukong's command here. Alacrity is getting stuck inside of it. The Ravage comes down, but it's good. at the Aphotic Shield. Top comes in here from Mizu, keeping his boys alive, and the rest of the Galaxy Racer, they're all pretty low key when it comes to HP. Oh, beautifully timed, Fear Eris. He's gonna have to cop that one, he's gonna have to tip your hat at scenes. Did he oh, root onto the TA, but she's getting stunned up, getting chain stunned, and goes down. Abat tries his best by turning into a tree, but it's not what's going to save them on this game. Yassi's gonna go down as well. They need to make sure that the fight is on their side of... Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're gonna say they need to have the fight coming out on their terms, but it's just not the way that the cookie crumbles. You get the vision there with the wave of terror and the swap as well, Hung Hung. Mizu is just gonna walk in here and he can just put his body on the line because he knows that even if he dies, he has that second life to play around with as well. Galaxy Racer might be putting themselves in a little bit of a weird position here. You have to be careful with this Illuminate. Gonna do quite a lot of work already, Abbott. Seeing if you can chip down more and more of these players in your dream copy, and the Ravage comes in, 4 stuff from Ashes, collects onto 3, but is it going to be enough for them to at least get these kills here in your dream? He's going to throw out the Rec Room of Souls, and he wants to try and fight with his buddies, but it's going to be Mizu who's going to die first for the side of Galaxy Racer. And they're just turning around, and they're just turning and fighting here, Hung Hung, seeing if he can salvage his game for top team. And he will at least get rid of the Abaddon, so they don't have to worry about these aphotic shields. Oh my god, Alacrity. The turnaround there to get Hung Hung. They lost Abat in that fight as well. Now top team. They're really, they're inside their own base. They're going to lose Elena Rax. They probably could be losing too. Mizu is probably going to lose. Oh no, he just respawned. He brought back to save his own illusion. The big brain played there from Mizu. And he will continue this fight, probably lose his life as well, it seems. Hung Hung, seeing if he can try and collect there onto Jokam, but it's not going to be it. is going to be the one they're going to try and sacrifice up at least here. Hung Hung does not have a BKB to play around, so he will take down the Vengeful Spirit, but it's just so much damage coming in from Alacrity. They burn through them, and now top team, I'd imagine this is going to be their last stand. They're trying to get Galaxy Racer out of their base, but Galaxy Racer don't want to leave. Joker 
has rolled through a lot of top team right now, and that will sound their retreat. They don't have their Vengeful Spirit for another 70 seconds. Yep, so they don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Not much uh, opening here on the side of uh, top team to actually exploit them. They're, they've called GG. I mean, a nice attempt, but it just seemed like Alex and Racer had full control of this game, like they did in the past three games as well. And their draft is. it's solid. And they have a way to deal with these balls at the jump.